Hey, Psych2Goers. Being in a relationship could be one of the most fulfilling experiences to have. Regardless of how things end, they open up parts of ourselves and our hearts that perhaps we didn't dare to explore or didn't think existed. But all relationships and feelings have stages that may not be completely mature types of love. And of course, that's okay. There are many kinds of love. Here are some ways to understand if what you're feeling is mature or immature. Number one, idealization versus acceptance. When you enter a relationship or start liking someone, everything feels new and exciting. You love and admire the other person's traits and attributes and find it hard to find faults. There's nothing wrong with idealizing your partner or crush. It's a natural and necessary part of being in love. But the purpose of love and relationships is to move beyond the idealization phase. Both of you are supposed to grow in understanding and acceptance. In a mature relationship, you both accept each other's faults while motivating and supporting each other to do and be better. Number two, jealousy. Many people look down on jealousy in a relationship. We think of it as an unattractive trait in ourselves or our partners. But jealousy that is healthy and not obsessive may be an unfulfilled desire. In a relationship, these unexpressed desires are not material things. They may be emotional needs that you have. So when you find yourself feeling jealous about something in your relationship, figure out what your unfulfilled desire is. Once you've figured that out, talk to your partner. It's best to talk instead of letting your jealousy fester. Unresolved jealousy can create destructive patterns or distance. Relationships survive when you both communicate. Number three, stability. A mature relationship needs to be stable. Both of you need to be on the same page and share the same goals and intentions. During the early stages of a relationship, everything moves fast. It feels passionate and dramatic and red flags and boundaries are ignored. But at this point, neither of you fully know each other. You just know the best parts of each other. As you get to know, understand, and mature in love, the dynamics of the relationship shift. As a result, you feel more stable in your love that you share. And number four, support. Support is one way of showing someone you love them. In the early stages of a relationship, the most support many of us can offer is happiness, a promise to be happy around each other. As the relationship grows, you both open up to each other, becoming more vulnerable with each other. Eventually, you both open up to each other, confiding and supporting one another through difficult times. Support and understanding motivate both of you to endure the adversities either of you might face. So, do you think your relationship or feelings towards someone are more mature or immature? Of course, there's no set formula for a long-lasting relationship. As long as you're happy and fulfilled in your relationship, don't stress too much. Did you find this video insightful? If so, don't forget to leave a like and a comment about your own experiences and share this video with a friend if you think it might help them too. See you next time.